All right, what's up everyone to another video full speed on Paul and today we are back with the XR100 Getting that thing ready for our big trip going down to Wind Rock guys 75,000 acres Big 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 place biggest place in the US privately owned off-road park. It is super fun So what we got to do with the XR100 is get this thing ready for some nighttime riding So we're not always out there at the nighttime, but two out of three of the days we were caught in the dark and on our klx 140 no big deal we got a light now the 100 we don't have a light and they don't have a stator for this year bike to produce power to power a light and no battery obviously so we need to make something up here and you already know where we're going with this but we're still going to show you guys how to get her done so first things first we need a place to put a battery and i figured what better than the old, the old xr tool bag that goes on the back your old fender bag well i guess it doesn't have to be tools in there it could be it could be whatever but anyways it goes on the back of the fender and mounts on that and uh yeah it should be pretty easy only you know this is an ebay purchase here and it's really bothered me like i didn't even know if i really wanted to put this on the bike after it came in because I'm looking at it, it's like, oh, like, the red's totally off. Like, just because it's, like, pushed up right against the seat. Like, this right here doesn't bother me. Or, the, like, the red shock down there. But it's just, like, bam. Like, that's red, dude. Like, but you know what? Maybe after it gets dusty or a little dirty, it probably won't matter. Well, that's going to bolt through the fender, and that's going to be solid. So, after that part, I think we're going to either line this with foam... To insert our battery in here or if you look we bought one of these guys here off Amazon that this actually bolts down too so then you can have that bolted down on that platform slide your battery in and be good to go since we're here this is the light that we picked up so we've been kind of struggling a little bit on where we wanted to mount that light and we went round because it being an older bike like that it's like we can't put no flat led bar on, a, on an old bike like that we need a nice old school round light and i know that's not really old school still i mean obviously it's led it's not old school but yeah so not exactly what we had in mind but at this point it's like let's just get this to work the light's bright um we're going to be using dewalt batteries which we just have some small DeWalt batteries that are only lasting us about 45 minutes and the light already starts dimming on us hard Thankfully, if you didn't know, you can go on Amazon and get those batteries for your DeWalt, your Milwaukee's and all that, that are off brand, that still work really awesome, that are like half the price, if not more. So we plan on just picking up a bigger DeWalt battery off of Amazon, should be good to go. As long as we have like three hours total of runtime on batteries, I ain't sweating it. Like we're not spending over three hours at nighttime unless something seriously has gone wrong. And at that point, why not just add to it with no headlights idea be like i said we'll run the wires through here we bought a switch that'll go on here and then our issue right now is figuring out where that light's gonna go because the lower you go the bigger the shadow it casts off the fender so you have like a big dark spot right here which isn't great because you'll be able to see ahead of you but then as soon as you come up to like whatever it's a a log a pot you know some type of hole a rock whatever you're not going to see it anymore. You're just going to have to remember exactly where everything's at, which isn't necessarily the best thing to have to do when you're ripping full speed at nighttime. So again, but the higher we go up, we don't like the light. We like the light down here. And this is where we had planned on making our bracket to put the light. So again, being kind of a backup kind of scenario, there's like, I don't plan on this bike being out at nighttime, but in case it was, I want it to be ready. So kind of might just run it down a little low i could truly tell you as i make this video right now i have no clue where i'm gonna put this light because i am on the struggle bus on it but at the same time it's just like we got to get this light done and on here so don't beat me up too much if you don't like where we put the light because chances are we might not like where we put the light either but either way let's get at it all right so we got our holes drilled my only complaint and only thing i would recommend if you happen to get the same bag these are the little washers they give you like no way jack i ain't doing that like definitely put some wider ones in there for sure get a little bit more surface areas that way those things aren't sucking right through and uh causing an issue when you're out on the trail haven't tightened them down yet by the way also put some fatty washers on the back here too 
And that's actually probably what those thin ones were supposed to be. But like I said, like more surface area you can cover, the better that's going to hold. So we're going to get that tightened up. And then uh, we will see what our next step is here. All right, guys, you may or may not have seen the post that we put on our uh, channel. Did a little poll action to, uh, to see what you guys thought. If we should put the light here, here, or up here. And you guys were tied between up here and then down here. Well, we originally wanted the light down here anyways. And uh, up here would have been difficult doing the brackets. So we're down here just making metal. So not going to be the prettiest, guys, all right? And uh, I went a little crazy on the grind on that one. That's supposed to be even. So I do got to take a little bit more out of that. But uh, the idea is these brackets are going to go just like that. See how that one's flat? And then we got this piece of metal here that we're going to weld in. So it connects to these two. And then once we get this tacked in, we're going to pull it off, fully weld it. And then we'll be able to take our grinder to this thing and just like smooth it out, make it a little bit nicer, throw a little paint on there. And then uh, after all that, we'll be able to uh, mount our light. So it should be pretty pretty simple design here, guys. And uh, shouldn't look horrible on the bike. Shouldn't actually look too bad, to be honest. And it's going to be super sturdy, which is nice. All right, so we're just doing a little light testing right now just to show you guys. So there is the light now on the 100. So that's the shadow I was talking about that it kind of casts. But... Uh, Obviously, there's still light in that shadow. It's just not as bright as out there. I mean, that's really doable. I mean, you should be able to judge as far as, you know, by time whatever's in that shadow zone, you should already be set in place on where the bike's going, where it's not a big deal, especially at whatever speed you're traveling at. So definitely very doable. And plus the positioning of this light here, I think you guys are going to like it. Here's our light all bolted up and everything. Brackets all painted up. Looking looking pretty good. Not mad about that design. So that's that's pretty sturdy and uh that'll probably stay on the bike. So not too shabby. So now we just gotta get our wires here and we're gonna have them go up here to where we're gonna have a switch. Then the power wires will run through here, under our seat, along the frame, into here where our battery supply will be, and it'll be it'll be that simple. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right guys, things are moving along pretty good here. So I figured I'd show you real quick before we button it up. Got the bag looking good here with our batteries in there, going with the dual battery set up here. So if one goes dead, we can put the other one in. These total here will give us almost about two hours of runtime, but these are just small little batteries. You can get bigger ones off of uh, Amazon. We chose not to buy any batteries this round because this bike is our backup for our trip this time. So we hopefully won't have to use this bike. And because this trip here, we don't do a lot of nighttime riding. So we should be good with just two batteries. But the idea is here, obviously you got the batteries. We got it foamed in. We end up having some foam from one of our packages or whatever we bought. So we just cut that up. And then obviously our plug here, we're going to delete the switch so we can run a switch up there on the handlebars. Going to leave the fuse in, I believe, even though I don't really run fuses on any of these setups, but I guess we can. I guess there's no harm in that. I really don't think we need to, though. All right, we're going to get the bike finished up, get those wires ran, and get this bike ready for our trip. So, all right. All right, everyone, we got this thing all dialed in. Looking good. So batteries are pretty tight in here too, and this is screwed down. So I'm hoping that there shouldn't be too much bouncing around, but even if they do, it should be, even if they do, they shouldn't harm too much. We could even get like another piece of foam just to lay like on top, on top like that if you want, just to put some pressure on there. So maybe we'll do that and uh, that'll help keep everything in place. But besides that, so right there, and then that hole is already in the bag. And then we instantly routed the wires over, just tucked them in here, and then kind of pushed them in with the screwdriver so they went in the actual slot. And then you can see there's the wires all the way in here because we got to pull through. Underneath here, tucked up. 
and then we have it come above your grommet here for your gas tank and then here's the wires in here and then we just soldered uh, the wires together and then we uh, zip tied and then we had a little strap left from probably actually probably one of our big bikes or our four wheelers but either way works out for this application here's our light switch and uh, she's good to go so no pit no pinching of the wires or anything nothing the wires like fold out looking crisp Woo! yeah buddy and let's just take one more look at this thing i mean she is just looking so good like i'm glad we put that back even though it is a little bit different red she's just looking so good guys so this is probably gonna wrap up there's not too many more mods we could do to this bike because we kind of got her dialed in we do need to do a little fork work i think we need to put some thicker oil in the front but other than that she's running crisp all right guys but we're gonna end off the video there she's complete she's looking good she's ready to rip and uh she's ready for this trip so i appreciate you guys watching and you know the deal until next time we'll see you later